Are your chicken nuggets ruining your antibiotic ointment? This is a sad tale. It is the tale of how farmers are screwing us up by feeding massive amounts of antibiotics to their livestock so that we can have beefier chickens and fat, big old pieces of steak. Check it out. Last week, the FDA released a report on the gross amount of antibiotics purchased by the livestock industry in 2012. And the results are totally startling. Between 2009 and 2012, which is a period where we're beginning to have increased awareness about the use of antibiotics in our foods, the FDA found purchases of drugs rose a total of 16%. Over the same period, annual production of beef, chicken, and pork barely budged, suggesting that the industry was becoming even more antibiotic intensive as the years passes. Worse still, the FDA deemed 61% of the antibiotics sold to the meat industry in 2012 as, quote, medically important, meaning they're commonly used in human medicine and thus in danger of losing their effectiveness through resistance. So here's what these producers are doing that is so disturbing. Usually, if you're going to treat your livestock because they had an illness and they needed some antibiotics, that would be given through some kind of injection or perhaps a topical ointment. The vast majority, 94%, was either administered through their water or through their food. Now these types of antibiotics are administered in this way for one reason, and it is to make the animals larger and more meaty. And this is a huge problem because it means that our antibiotics are not working as well when humans ingest them, when they actually have an illness. 61% of these antibiotics sold in the meat industry are important. That means that they are being used by humans currently, which means that we are building up resistances to important, important antibiotics before we even have an illness. Huge problem. FDA is really slacking on this one. I think we really need more. The problem is the regulations that they've put into place so far are all voluntary at this point. And if you are in pursuit of profits, I do not know why it would occur to you to follow a voluntary guideline from the FDA. So more to be said on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below, folks. And don't forget to subscribe to The Fowler Show.